What is up, YouTube? Welcome to Premium MMA. My name is Hydro, aka Big Splash. I'm here to give you my best bets for UFC Fight Night, Kai Car of France versus Amir Albazi. Let's get straight into it. First up, we got my parlays. I have a parlay with all favorites in it, and I have a parlay with all underdogs in it. My parlay with the favorites, I put one unit on that, and in there I have Jared Gordon, Daniel Santos, and Kareem Silva. And these are my most confident picks out of the whole card. I think Jared Gordon here can win in decision against Jim Miller. Daniel Santos could put away Johnny Munoz. Kareem Silva is able to put away Ketlin Vieira. And that's what I see, and that's what I believe. And parlaying these three up, I got them at a plus 249, which is not bad at all. Not a bad value at all. Pretty good value. And I put a whole unit on them. Next up, we got my fun parlay. It's a fun bet. Only got $30 on it. And I got it at a plus 1822. It's pretty gnarly, I know. That's why I only put thirty dollars on it. It's a fun bet. It's it's all it's all my underdogs that I think will win will win their fights, and and some of them mostly biased, I would say, because it's underdogs. And in this fun parlay, with all underdogs, we got Victor Altamirano, Andre Orlovsky, and Jamie Malarkey. I think Jamie Malarkey's ground game is getting better and is really good, and his stand up is really good, and it's more technical than. You know, than a few years ago in 2020. And Victor Alto Moreno, that is my dude. And and the UFC pairing him up with Tim Elliott was the perfect matchup. I know Tim Elliott is a tough opponent. And he's just, like I said, he's so awkward that it's just hard to hit him sometimes and put him away. But I think Alto Moreno here can match his awkwardness. And it's just going to be a, a harder fight for Tim Elliott. And this is going to be a good fight for Victor Alto Moreno to move up. In the ranks in the UFC, hopefully get a spot in the rankings there. And Andre Olerveski, he's fighting Dante Mays. Dante Mays is a powerful heavyweight, but he hasn't been showing technicality. His how technical he is, but I mean, you never know what'll happen in these in these heavyweight fights. That's why I put Andre in here. I do think Andre can get it done. I don't think he, he will be able to put away Don, Dontel, but I do believe that he will outstrike him in decision. Because he's going to stay on the feet. They both don't really wrestle that much. But Andre does have the more UFC experience. Dontel Mays, like I said, he's good. He's powerful. His hands could be fast sometimes. Like, like what I'm saying is that he shows up. He'll show up sometimes, and sometimes he won't show up. And it's like, yeah. And usually in decision, Dontel Mays gets outstricken. Outstriked, so that's why I have Andre Olerveski over Dante Mays, and I got them at a plus eighteen twenty-two. And like I said, I put only thirty dollars on it, and I think that pays out around five hundred dollars, five fifty or something like that. Yeah, it's pretty gnarly, <laughs> but these hit for me before, so I mean, and like I said, it's a fun bet, only thirty dollars. I'm not worried. My money lines are straightforward. They're the same thing as my fun bet. I money line everyone I put in a, in that parlay, in that fun bet parlay, because they're all underdogs. So why not money line all of them? Because you don't know if they're going to hit or not. My first money line is Victor Altamirano. Like I said, I do believe he could get it done against Tim Elliott, especially if it goes to the decision. I do see this fight going to decision. And if there is a stoppage, I do see Victor Altamirano stopping Tim Elliott. That's the only stoppage I see. Either... Either... TKO, maybe submission, because Victor Altamirano does have a good ground game, but maybe like a TKO, not not an all the way KO, just a maybe you know he hurts him on the feet, knocks him down, and just grounds and pound him. And that's that's how I see Victor Altamirano getting the finish here. But to be honest, Tim Elliott is pretty tough. He does have a chin, and I think he's just gonna stand up with Victor Altamirano. This fight is gonna stay on the feet, but Victor Altamirano is gonna throw more volume is going to be hitting him more because, like I said, Tim Elliott leaves his chin up in the air and his hands down, so he is very hittable, and Victor Altamirano is going to see that and capitalize on that and outstrike Tim Elliott. So that's why I got Victor Altamirano in this matchup, and that's why I have one unit, one whole unit on Victor Altamirano. Next money line we got is Andre Olerveski. I got him at a plus 101, basically even. I only put $50 on him, which is, you know, 0.5 units. And I only put 0.5 units on him because he is going against Dontel Mays, and this is a heavyweight fight. You never know what will happen. These heavyweights are powerful, but I do believe Andre Oliveski is the better striker, and this fight is going to stay on the feet. So that's why I have Andre Oliveski in this matchup, and I put 
fifty dollars on them, which is not bad, and I got it on a plus one oh one. And my last money line is my boy Jamie Malarkey. I got him at a plus two seventy, which is a great value, but like I said, he is going against a, a tough competition. But I just think he just got way better. And I think he's he's gonna do his thing and out volume Grom. I got a, I put 0.5 units on him, only fifty dollars. Because like I said, he's a huge underdog in this fight, and he is going against a pretty tough opponent. But in footage, I see Jamie Malarkey's ground game being better. And in Jamie Malarkey's recent fight, he looked great. He did get knocked down by Michael Johnson, but that's Michael Johnson. Michael Johnson has hands, but Jamie Malarkey did come back in that fight and win that fight, and he did beat up Michael Johnson. And even after that fight, Jamie Malarkey's striking defense got way better. So yeah, I got Jamie Malarkey in this matchup. And like I said, I only put $50 on them, which is not too bad. And I parlayed all three of my underdogs in my fun bet because these fights are going to have me at the edge of my seat. These are the ones that are going to have me, like, jumping up and down. Like, whoa, like, let's go. Like, so much emotion. Victor Alton Moreno, that's more of a biased pick. Jamie Malarkey, you could say he's more of a biased pick because I do like Jamie Malarkey and his style. And I really do think he could get it done here in this matchup. And that is it for my best bets for UFC Fight Night. Kai Kara France versus Amir Albazi. This is going to be a great one. It's going to have me at the edge of my seat. And if y'all enjoyed this video or agree with me, like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.